and I'm Jordan, and our passion project was about how dogs and cats communicate to us humans. For the past year, we have been researching and evaluating dogs and cats and how they communicate with us. They do things that are very similar to each other, and that's why I wanted to make a website about it. I've always wanted to help others understand and know how to read their dog or cat better. One of the even bigger reasons why we wanted to do this was because we wanted to be able to understand our pets at home. Like, for example, I have always wanted to know more of what my cat is trying to communicate to me. Okay, so this is the website that we made, and this is our homepage, and we use Wix.com. And we worked together on the dog and cat similarities, and one thing that we found was that both dogs and cats twitch and talk in their sleep because they dream just like humans do. We both worked separately on finding facts about the um, expressions that the ears make. And one thing that I learned is that when a cat's ears are forward, they are feeling content and playful. And one thing that I learned is that when dogs tilt their heads, it helps them pick up sounds from different directions. Also, we worked separately during the playtime. And during playtime, many cats will do little play bites, and that's what I learned. And also, dogs um, biting how howling isn't is not always bad. It is also a sign of happy play. And I worked on the cat facial expressions, and they have many different facial expressions, like when they are angry, they have a loud meow or drop of the jaw. And then I worked individually on the facial expressions of a dog makes, and one thing that I learned. I learned is that if a, your dog is uptight, he might yarn exa exaggerately. And then I worked on the what does the bark mean? Dogs bark mean. And one thing that I I learned is that all the different types of pitches and frequency of a bark um, just means something different. That goes along for a cat's meow as well. The different sounds mean different things that they want, like if they want food or to play. It's different frequencies. We work separately on the body language, but then came together to see what they did the same for their body language. Um, and what about a dog is that um, if your dog is walking towards you in a straight line, it's a sign of aggression, but if it walks towards a, you like a zigzaggy way, then it seems more friendly toward you. And a cat's body language means a lot about what they're thinking, if they roll over onto the back into their stomach, they are feeling relaxed, or they feel that they cannot escape. And we also work together on the dog and cat's eyes, and um... There wasn't a whole lot about cat's eyes, but it's really basic and how they, um, the pupils are a lot of what they are feeling. Yeah, and if a dog, his eyes are squinted, might feel pain or it could also just be bright outside. <laughs> and then the next thing that we added in was the dog and cat facts. We also worked together on this one and it was really cool how Dogs sweat through their foot pads, and cats have 30 mu 32 muscles in each ear. Thank you, and you can also contact Amy uh, with her email. Just fill out the form when you go to our website. Thank you. The process we took was perfect for this type of project. The very first thing we had to do was make a plan. We made a slideshow about what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, and why we wanted to. The next thing Amy and I did was research. We each searched things on different animals. Some of the main things that we searched included information on both their ears, mouth, and their language that they make to communicate. We also searched on what their body language is telling us. After researching a few topics, we then made a docu document about all the information and then we compared each between cats and dogs. We also made separate parts on each of their own qualities that the other one doesn't have. As you can see, we made a planner for what we wanted to do, when we want it done, and what supplies we wanted. Our first thing that we want to accomplish for a website is to search how to make a website. We would need to search for the best one for us. There was many options, so we had to try them all out. Once we found one we wanted, which was Wix.com, we started to see how much 
information we could fit in. Next, we started our research process. We gave ourselves a long time because we individually had to search every topic about our either dog or cat. There are many different websites out there with lots of information which might have different ideas and information. So, we had to figure out which websites were the most reliable. After our research, we would evaluate our own animals that we have at home and compare the information we found during research. I have a cat at home and I found out that when you walk up to them, they roll over and show their stomach in the feeling of not being able to escape. And I have a dog at home, and through my evaluations, I found that when a dog jumps on you, it isn't always a sign of aggression and attack. It also is another way to greet their owner. My dog does this all the time. Next, we had to gather all of our information that we found through research and through our evaluations at home and transfer them on the website separated into their own sections depending on their information that it gave. After we added our facts and details, we put in pictures to match each segment we made. Next, we had a few people from class and our parents analyze our website, and they noticed a few grammatically incorrect errors that we had to fix. We fixed the errors and changed them, changed um, them and the theme, and did some final edits. Then we published the site. Some of these dates came a little too fast for us at one point, and some didn't come soon enough, but in the end, it all evened out perfectly. Some struggles we ran into was finding a website to put our information. Yeah, the first website we tried was Weebly. This one didn't work for us because it didn't have the space or layout that we needed. After we found out we didn't like Weebly, we tried Squarespace. This one was a bit better, but it still wasn't the right fit for us. We also had to pay to use this one, and we wanted to be able to publish it for free. This one cannot be shown due to our trial ending. Through our research and evaluations, we found many new things that we didn't already know before. Yeah. What I learned during this time was that how a cat and a dog find language means a lot about what they are communicating. I also learned how to make a website on many different sites. What I learned through this process of making the website is the different kinds of barks and what, that they all mean different things. Even the pitch and the frequency of the bark does mean something different they are trying to tell us. Thank you.